the Apostle Paul in writing to the church at Rome in Romans 12 verses 1 through 2 penned the following. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, or I beg you, please, brethren, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. There ain't no big thing. That's just your reasonable service. Verse two is the one I want to hang my hat on. And he said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That word conforms means to be so well adjusted, so tuned in, such a good fit to the world's folk ways, mores, traditions, customs, habits, and norms. Don't be conformed to this world. You know, stop being a perfect fit for any and everything. Stop running with the world. You know, when people say, who you running with? And they say, you running with the world. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Transformation is when it gets tough. Transformation and your decision to make a decision for transformation by the renewing of your mind is a decision to not fit where you used to fit. The things that you used to do, you don't do no more. The places you used to go, you don't go no more. The things that you used to do, you don't do anymore. But when you come against that, which has been a habit, a custom, a norm, a, a predisposition, all of a sudden, that's when the problems come and the headaches come because fighting against the grain, choosing the road that is less travel will get you castigated. It'll get people to say, you think you so much. He or she thinks he so much. How is he doing this? And then the headaches start. But what I'm coming to tell you with much boldness today is that the headache is worth it after all. If transformation is your norm, if you want to go from one thing to the next, if you stuck at being this, uh, I, I can imagine that there are a million uh, caterpillars uh, uh, that 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 love their time being a caterpillar and then all of a sudden one of them wants to turn into a butterfly i'm sure that may cause some headaches your decision to go to your next place your decision to put down what you used to hold on to so greatly your decision to not fit where everybody else is fitting i mean we are in a day now when no one likes to be uh, no one likes to take bad press. No one likes to be talked about. And the scriptures declare that behold, <laughs> it's a beware when all men speak well of you. And it said, blessed are ye, Matthew 5, I think it's 11 or 5, 17, somewhere in there. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. So folks, you're going to get some headaches when you decide to not conform. You're going to get some headaches when you decide to not fit where you used to fit so easily. You're going to get some headaches when you rather read your Bible than hang out at the spot. And the spot, even in church circles, can be, you know, where they go to have their holy prayer meeting right after church uh, at, at the various restaurants where you do like uh, a prayer over your food. And then then you, you talk about people for the rest of the meal. Look, your decision to run after what God has given you or what God has given you a vision of. It will stir some, it will offend some, some in your own household, some in, that got the same big old nose you got and the same big old lips and the same big old head. Some that have the birthmark that looks just like yours. Some of you that you went to the family reunion at the same person's house, but the headache is worth it after all. You got to think that only what you do for Christ will last. Stop worrying about who's stuck here and follow your purpose. Why conform to keep everybody happy if it makes God angry? I'm going to do that, which keeps God happy that might offend some others. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The headache will be worth it after all.
after all and after a while, as the old preachers say, after a while, the headache will be worth it. You got to stop spending all your days trying to fit in where God has never wanted you to fit, breaking at points where God never wanted you to break, chilling at places where God never wanted you to chill. The headache, it'll be worth it after a while because wherever transformation comes, positive transformation, there's a reward for your new behavior. I'm believing that when you renew your mind, your life will change for the better. So the headache will be worth it after all. Have a great day.